Well, if the colder temperatures aren't enough to get you in the holiday spirit, Tulsa's annual Christmas parade is this weekend. We will all be there as well. This year, the floats are centered around all the stories that you love to hear during the holidays. The theme is a storybook Christmas. And two works you reporter Mike Hatfield shows us the new technology we'll see this year. This year, there won't be trucks pulling all the floats down the parade route. The drivers will actually be sitting inside the float in an old car like I am now. Probably about the 70s and 80s, Tulsa had some self-propelled floats, so we haven't seen them in quite a while. This year, organizers are trying to bring back old traditions and flood downtown with parade goers. So in the spirit of doing that, our engineer, parade engineer Wayne McCoy this year decided that let's do it again. So he got a bunch of cars and cut them all up and made little engines and stuff and we built the floats around those. The cockpit of the Two Works for Who, Dr. Seuss themed Whoville float, is an old Pontiac painted pink. There are screens inside the float so the driver can monitor what's going on around them. Organizers think the self-propelled floats are really going to enhance the experience. If you don't have a big truck hauling the float, um, you can have the driver dressed up in a little costume. It was part of the design, so the driver of um, the Whoville will be dressed like a, a Who resident, you know. So, I mean, it just creates the magical effect of just a big magical scene floating down the street. The parade rolls this Saturday at 2. Make your way to downtown early so you get a good spot. Two Works For You will have a float in the parade, so come out and say hi. In downtown Tulsa, Micah Hatfield, Two Works For Who.